let's take a look at an example involving compound interest. If $1,000 is borrowed at 8% interest, find the amounts due at the end of three years if the interest is compounded, and then they give a bunch of options. So I really want to unpack the first part of the sentence. When they say that we borrow $1,000, they're telling us that the principal, which is the amount that you borrow, is $1,000. When they say it's borrowed at 8% interest, they're really telling us that the annual interest rate R is equal to 0 0.08. So we want to convert that decimal, I mean that percentage into a decimal. <clears throat> We want to find the amount due at the end of three years. So they're telling us that our T is going to be equal to three years. And then all of this part right here, this annually, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, hourly, and continuously, these are all different um, N, N values. Different values for n. Now as a reminder, n is the number of times you compound per year. Now to solve all of these, we're going to have to use our compound interest formula. So the compound interest formula tells us the amount we have after t years it's going to be given by the principal times 1 plus the annual rate over the number of times we compound per year, all raised to a power. And that power is nt. nt is the n times t is the number of times we compound. This is the number of times we compound in total. Okay, so the idea is if you compounded n times a year for t years, then you've compounded a total of n times t times. So let's take a look at uh, part one. For part one, annually, when you compound annually, that means you compound once per year. So that means that n is equal to one. And then the amount we're going to have after three years is going to be given by the principal, which is 1,000 times 1 plus the annual interest rate, which is 0 0.08, divided by the number of times we compound per year, which is 1, times the number of times we compound, which is 1, times the number of years, which is 3. So in one year, we've only compounded once. So in three years, we compound three times total. So we're going to put all this into our calculator and we get 1,259 dollars and 71 cents. Okay, let's look at part two. So part two involves compounding annually, sorry, quarterly. So we look at part two, quarterly, quarterly, implies you're going to compound four times per year. A quarter is one-fourth. So when we calculate what A of 3 is in this situation, it's going to be 1,000, which is the principal, times 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4, all raised to the 4 times 3 power. And when you plug all that into your calculator, you're going to get $1,268.24. So just want to mention a couple things here. The first thing is we've compounded a total of 12 times because it's four times a year for three years at a total of 12 times. And we can see that we've earned more interest because the amount we have is higher. Let's take a look at the next one. The next one is monthly. So monthly means n is equal to 12 because there's 12 months in a year. So after three years, we're going to have 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12, 
all raised to the 12 times 3 power. And when you do that, you're going to get $1,270.24 when I round to the nearest penny. For the fourth part, we're looking at weekly. Weekly, there's 52 weeks in the year, so n is equal to 52. So after three years, we're going to have our principal, which is 1,000 times 1 plus the annual interest rate, 0 0.08 divided by 12, all raised to the 52 times 3. So we're compounding a whole bunch of times there. 106 times we compound. And we're going to get $1,271.01. Fine, if we did it weekly, we might as well do it daily, right? So let's do daily. Daily means that because there's 365 days in a year, our N is 365. So that means after three years, we're going to get 1000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 over 365, all raised to the 365 times 3. Well, cut and paste would have been useful, right? And we get $1,271.21. Woohoo! All right. So... We've got hourly and then continuously last, right? So hourly, let's take a look at hourly. So for part six, hourly, that's going to give us N is equal to 365 times 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. And that gives us 8,760. That's the uh, value of n that we're going to have. So after three years, we're going to have 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 8,760, all times 8,760 times 3. And evaluating that in our calculator gives us one thousand two hundred and seventy one dollars and twenty five cents now if we do it continuously continuously means we have a whole different formula so that means that our formula is going to be the amount after t years is going to be your principal times e to the rt for us our principal was $1,000, our annual interest rate was 0 0.08, and our T in this case is 3. So when we evaluate this, we get $1,271.25. So it's not that these last two answers are identical, it's just they differ by a rounding error, and the rounding error isn't enough to bump it up to more than 25 cents, okay? So I guess I should highlight all these answers. Uh, and this is going to conclude our example on compound interest. So what's your takeaway? Your takeaway is that you do earn more if you compound more often per year, but it seems to kind of reach a plateau at some point. All right, everyone. Take care.